In space, there are different degrees of having a bad day. Imagine a day that starts with all of those around you being slaughtered. It moves onto your ship being invaded and you being sent on a counterattack against an unknown enemy. Now things start to get really bad. Meet Case, a young warrior of the Firecast, part of the Tau race, and he is having the worst 24 hours of his life. He's about to embark on his trial by fire, which every fire warrior has to go through. Which is a kind of a way of getting your stripes, you could say. It's, it's a ceremonial thing, but it also, well, it takes place in the heat of battle. You've dropped down to this planet's surface in order to find your ethereal, who's your spiritual leader, who's been captured. You rescue him, um, you take him back to your ship, your ship gets attacked, and things develop from there. It takes place over 24 hours. You do get this feeling that it's one day, one horrible, horrible day in the life of this fire warrior. Case inhabits a terrifying, hostile world. His chances of survival depend on your killer instinct. Fire Warrior is basically a fast-paced first-person shooter, a good mixture of action, um, combat, and some elements of stealth and adventure. The thing that really sets Fire Warrior apart as, as a video game, I think, is first and foremost the universe in which it's set. Uh, there's nothing, there's no other setting like the Warhammer 40,000 universe. You're dead, alien. The Warhammer 40,000 universe is a creation of Games Workshop and is a familiar environment to the fans of tabletop war games. Games Workshop is the world's largest and most successful tabletop war game business. A tabletop war game involves collecting, painting, and playing games. In the Warhammer 40,000 universe, for example, you might collect an army of space marines, and then you'll paint them yourself, so it's really an all-encompassing hobby. With its headquarters in Nottingham, England, Games Workshop distributes its games to over 50 countries and sells some 100 million miniatures each year. Our miniatures are extremely detailed, fine pieces of sculpture, and it's something that we take very seriously. It's, it's, it's the core of what we do. That's, we have to get that right in order to be successful, in order to keep our customers happy, and in order to really meet and exceed our own standards of quality. This here is Games Workshop Manufacturing. This is our biggest production facility in the world. And this is where the actual casting of the metal miniatures takes place. And through these doors over here is our Warhammer World shop. This is basically our flagship shop. But what is life like in this Warhammer universe? The Warhammer 40,000 game is a tabletop war game which is set in the far future, in the 41st millennium, in fact, thus the name. It's basically the uh, dark depiction of uh, humankind 40,000 years into the future. It's not just the story of humankind because they've spread across the galaxy, encountered a whole, whole host of other races. Uh, it's a very warlike future, very dark, uh, very bleak. We're constantly exploring, adding new races to the, to the universe. For example, the Tau, which feature in Fire Warrior. My lord, we must tread carefully. These humans wish to eradicate our race. If there's one saying that we use to describe the Warhammer 40,000 universe, uh, it's kind of the byline for the universe that we use on the game. It's, in the grim darkness of the far future, there is only war. When it came to making the video game, both Games Workshop and the publishers THQ knew it would be a challenge to capture the unique atmosphere of the Warhammer 40,000 universe. They began their search for a developer with the right ideas. In December 2001, Kuju uh, heard about Games Workshop and THQ were looking for a Warhammer 40,000 uh, licensed product. I believe THQ received pitches from approximately 30 developers worldwide. And then Kuju came along with the idea of playing Fire Warrior. And what we liked about that was, well, the Tau, being the newest race to the Warhammer 40,000 universe, are, they're just learning about the Imperium of Man. They're really just, they're, they're a very young society. They're only about 2,000 years old. They're very technologically advanced. Their whole philosophy is for the greater good. Our orders are to defend this area. 
for a greater good. So through the eyes of the Tau, gamers will experience the scarred future of humanity, armed with the universe's most advanced weaponry. We wanted to make a gamer's game, a mass market, first person shooter, high action, that was set with the backdrop of Warhammer 40,000. Destroy the enemy. The core component of the tabletop game is its iconic characters, and so it had to be for the video game. For Kuju, the successful transformation from statuesque miniature to animated game character relied heavily on a close collaboration with Games Workshop. When Kuju first came, really what they wanted to talk about was um, the general feel of the different races, because in general when we make it to a soldier, it doesn't move. And one of the most obvious things about a computer game is that they move around an awful lot. Um, especially when you look at something like a space marine and the heavy armour that's actually involved in that. They basically supplied us with all of their artwork, with all their books, um, with quite a large amount of their um, figures that they would send us, large game packs. So basically anything that we wanted to see, even if it wasn't necessarily relevant to the exact character list in the game, we could look at it. And there is, Games Workshop have a very distinct style, and so having access to all of it, they understood was very important and we found was very important. One particular item of Games Workshop's core of their universe is uh, the Space Marines. It is our sacred duty to protect the Imperium from threats from outside and in. One of the questions we get asked all the time is, why don't I get to play a Space Marine? There's one thing that says Warhammer 40,000 to people out there. It's the Space Marines. And honestly, the simple answer is that we like the idea of being able to see Space Marines. They're so cool, we wanted you to have to fight them to see just how powerful they are and how cool they look on screen. Once we actually start to animate a character, you start to just tweak joints, tweak the, connect, uh, tweak the polygons around a joint to make sure that that character can move properly and look realistic so that the character has the correct amount of weight, um, moves their limbs at the correct speed and so on. After ensuring that the look and feel of the game stayed true to Games Workshop's universe, the developers turned their attention to the all-important content. Gameplay was built blending original ideas with inspiration drawn from first-person shooters of the past. The game basically has about five different environments set over 21 missions. Um, you have 17 different guns to pick up and choose from as you go throughout the game. Some of them given to you by the tower race, some of them just weapons you find along the way to pick up and use. Um, and also you get to meet about 25 different characters. Probably the biggest, longest, most number of weapons and characters game on the market at the moment. It's inspired by a good number of games that uh, we've looked at. We've looked at what's good about these games and about what's best about these games and tried to compile the best of the best into, into one product that works really, really well. Like the Tau, he acts for the greater good as he sees it. Kuju have also added an online component for PC and the PlayStation 2. I think that people are really going to enjoy playing the style of game uh, that we've put in for the online and that hopefully alongside the single player game it will become uh, a real gaming cult classic. It's been fantastic working with Games Workshop, um, they've been great. Initially we were worried that they were going to be very strict with us but in fact um, They've been great to work with. Kuju have done a brilliant job of capturing the feel of the dark, foreboding atmosphere that characterizes the universe. I think everyone in this building, everyone that works for Games Workshop and our fans will be happy. So as Case, you'll see how humankind has changed, what other races will inhabit the universe, and the horror of futuristic warfare. Find out just how hard it is to live through 24 hours as a fire warrior in this epic adventure. Are you ready for your trial by fire?